I don't just believe everybody should live a meaningful life and have a purpose. In fact, I believe that everybody has a calling. Everybody has a calling. And I mean everybody. I firmly believe that everybody, that's how we're designed. Everybody is designed in a way where some voice within each of us is calling us to pay attention to something. That's why it's called calling. Why? Because something is, is trying to actively draw our attention to some subject, to some cause, to some aspect of life. So everybody has a calling. And because we're unique, each one of us is biologically and psychologically and culturally and socially unique in the way we're constructed. Each one has his own calling. It doesn't mean that different people cannot have the same or similar calling. But definitely each one has his or, his, his or her own calling in their own way. Each one is called to pay attention, to find interest in something that talks to his or her core. And I believe calling is not a mat just a matter of the mind or the heart, the emotions. Calling comes from your soul. So when you something is when you have a calling, it's that you it's your soul that's calling you. And when we talk about soul, we're talking about maximum, utmost authenticity. So how do you find your calling? You find your calling by listening to the most authentic voice that comes from the deepest part of your soul because it's the truest manifestation of who you are as a person and it applies to all people regardless. Let's take students. At school, people are taught different subjects. Every person, every person, no exceptions, by default, is interested in some subjects more than other every person by default finds some subjects boring where an extra effort is made right to pay attention to the subject to spend time to focus and to concentrate with difficulty sometimes as compared to other subjects that come naturally right, that are naturally interesting in my let, i'll give you an example in my life Accounting meant nothing to me. Calculus meant nothing to me. But I was fascinated by geometry. Absolutely fascinated by geometry. What I was more fascinated about was the subject of leadership. I used to read every material that relates in any shape or form to the subject of leadership long even before school, college or university started. Why? Because I felt myself naturally drawn to this. I would not stop reading about the subject without considerable effort or even if there was effort it was a joy to do that it, it came i was i was immersing myself with this it's it's like you know t t t is, I, I don't know how to explain it you just feel that time and space doesn't exist anymore you even fight against your biological needs so you battle sleep so you spend hours and hours and hours awake because you're so interested. Something has grabbed you from inside. You cannot fake this. You're hungry. You skip your, your lunch. You skip food. Why? Because you're grabbed. Your core is grabbed by whatever interests you. Authentically interests you. You can't fake this thing. Hmm? And you're totally immersed into it. Everybody is, in the same, is, is designed in the same way. At work. Whether it's a personal, it's a small business or, you know, self-employed or, you know, a large organization. There are different tasks, different roles that are usually played. You, from management to sales to marketing to operations to research and development to administration to uh, operations. You name it. It doesn't matter. And within these roles, there are even, you know, smaller roles, micro roles. By default, by default, each one of us feels a certain tendency, attraction towards a, performing a certain role more than others. By default, this is, this is a reflection of the way we are personally designed in a unique format, each one of us. 
So I believe each one of each person, each regardless of age, gender, regardless, is naturally drawn to whatever is calling him or her from within. And I believe that's the secret. That's in fact what's the prime secret of living an optimal life, of living a life that is meaningful, a li of living a life where the experience of living, the experience of 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 being alive is at is the highest. When you live a life like that, your resilience becomes higher. Your tolerance to failures and pain becomes higher. Your 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 focus and attention becomes much stronger. Your uh, your level of enjoyment of life, right, becomes more intense. And I'm not talking about easy life. I'm not talking about superficial happiness. There is no easy life. If you're alive, easy is not an option. Superficial happiness. That's fine, that's part of life. But I'm not talking about that level. I'm talking about the deepest level of positive emotions where you feel, you feel that your, your life has meaning. You feel that whatever challenges and obstacles you're facing, it's fine. The, a journey like this is worthwhile. Why? Because you're totally aligned with your soul, with, 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 your, comp with, you, with your being. That's what it means to find your calling and live by your calling. The, the other alternative is to live in anxiety, is to live a shallow life, is to live in, um, to be in a state of uh, loss, of, la of, of, of lacking direction, is, is to question the meaning of life, is to be cynical, is to be nihilist, because you're not really experiencing life, you're lost in fact, you're not experiencing life the way you should, the way you're designed to. You're lost, there's a sense of, there's no direction because you're detached from who you really are. You're, det you're not aligned with yourself, with who you are as a person. This is not about, this is not spirituality. This is not, this, this, is, this, is, this is not biology. This is not psychology. This is everything together. This is put all of these things together, right? Spirituality, science, you know, um, psychology, uh, biology, put them all together all of them together and you get what we're talking about now because it's real and you know it and I know it and if you haven't experienced it yet you have seen it in other people therefore I believe that everybody has a calling and I believe that the most important mission the most important mission assignment task whatever you want to call it of every person is to discover and be clear about what his or her calling is all about this this is this is the number one responsibility that we have towards ourselves and if we have other people around us family friends you know children our responsibility towards them is to help them find that now is it easy it's not easy why because we're surrounded by so many things that you know that trying to grab our attention but the good news is that this is so authentic so deep that nothing can put that fire off it might be you know sometimes it might uh, it might fade Right? if you are overwhelmed by so many other things in life, but it will never be off. So our mission, your mission, is to look deep into your, your soul, inner soul, and try to discover that calling, and try to make it the center of your life. And once you do that, once you find what grabs your heart, your soul, your mind, your, you know, your entire being, what's, what that dominates, embraces, engulfs your attention, you will experience life like never before. You will really me experience what being what being alive really means. The number one priority of your life and my life is to discover our calling and live that life. Anything apart from that is maybe a micro experience of what hell is all about. Because we're not designed for that. We're designed for meaning, for purpose. We're designed to live and experience our calling. And that's the beginning of self-leadership.